Hello everyone, the UbiPorts Foundation has released Ubuntu Touch OTA 9, the ninth stable update to their mobile operating system based on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. This update arrives three months after OTA 8 and brings significant improvements in Volte support and Vadroid integration, along with a few other enhancements. First, Volte support now works out of the box with more carriers on several wallet devices. This means clearer calls and better coverage for users on networks that rely on Volte. The Vadroid integration has also been updated to include initial support for the upcoming official Android 13 images. In practice, that will allow Ubuntu Touch users to run more Android applications smoothly in a containerized environment. You'll also notice a new Notocolor emoji font included in this release. The change improves compatibility with newer emojis, making messages and social media apps look more up to date. Beyond those headline features, OTA 9 adds a few lower level improvements. It introduces support for uh, retrieving battery data directly from UPower in the system update tool. The channel name parser has been updated to recognize UT Next channels. For users in Germany, the one and one APN is now supported. A new system service applies per interface Suskli LLC retroactively, improving networking reliability. The IP protocol setting for IMS type APNs can now be set to dual, ensuring better data and voice handling in certain setups. Finally, developers and users will appreciate a series of bug fixes and security patches pulled in from both upstream Ubuntu and UB ports itself. OTA 9 is rolling out right now to all supported devices. That list includes the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1, FX Tech Pro 1X, Fairphone 3, 3 Plus and 4, Google Pixel 3 A and 3 AXL, Jingpad A1, OnePlus 5, 5T, 6, 6T, Nord N10 5G and N100, Sony Xperia X, Volophone, Volophone X, 22, X23 and Quintus, Walla Tablet, Lenovo Tab M10, HD second generation Wi-Fi LTE, Xiaomi Poco M2 Pro, X3 NFC and X3, and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro Pro Max 9S, as well as the Redmi 9 and 9 Prime. If you're already running Ubuntu Touch on the stable channel, you'll receive the OTA 9 update via the updates screen in system settings. The rollout has started today, but it may take a little time to reach every device. If you don't see it right away, check again later. For full details, including screenshots and technical notes, check the official release announcement on the UB Ports website. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Ubuntu Touch news.